Hey guys, this is Mr. Bias again. Um, alternate form of the derivative this time. So we're looking at a different form of the derivative in the limit definition. So I've got this picture up here that I had in the last video. And the only thing different I've got are my same secant line, my same tangent line. The difference is I've labeled my points down here differently. And last time I had x and I had delta x. Um, or I had x plus delta x because that was the difference. This time I have c and x. So at some point c, I have a corresponding y value f of c on that function, and a corresponding x value of f of x on that, I'm sorry, a corresponding y value for x on that function of f of x. The difference for y now, the change in y, is going to be f of x minus f of c. It's still that difference. The change in x here is going to be x minus c. So what's going to happen here is that my slope of my secant line now is now going to be, like, a, like always, de delta y over delta of x, which is going to be f of x minus f of c all over x minus c, right? So it's a little bit different, um, which makes my tangent line, my slope of my tangent line, which if you remember from the last video, the slope of the tangent line is the derivative, right? This is still going to be a limit, but now it's the limit as x gets closer to c because now we're taking this x and we're moving it along there yes delta x is getting smaller but x is getting closer to c and that's what we're going to look at it's the limit as x approaches c of f of x minus f of c over x minus c all right so just a little bit different in the form and i'll show you how we use it in just a second okay so i'll be right back with just one example for this video Woo. Woo. Back here with our one example for this video, f of x is equal to x cubed, and we're going to find f prime of 3. We're going to use the alternate form of that derivative, okay? So we're going to go ahead and set up our limit. First, we're going to do f prime of x, and we're going to have the limit as x approaches, well, actually, we can do this right away. So we're going to, we want f prime of 3. So that means we're going to go the limit as x approaches 3 of f of x minus f of 3 all over x minus 3, okay? So then we're going to go and plug that in, and we're going to get one right here. The limit as x approaches 3 of x cubed minus 3 cubed, and I'm just going to write it as 3 cubed for a second here over x minus 3. So now notice that here we have a difference of cubes, right? So we can simplify this using a difference of cubes. And I'll go ahead and do it on the, on, uh, over here on the side here. So x cubed minus 3 cubed is going to be all over x minus 3. So this is what we have here. We're going to factor that to x plus 3 times x, sorry, x minus 3 times x squared plus 6x plus 9, or plus 3x plus 9 all over x minus 3, and these guys cancel out. So we're going to have the limit as x approaches 3 of x squared plus 3x plus 9. We're going to go ahead and plug in 3 in here, and we're going to get our answer of 27. And that's our answer, all right? So that's a, a way that we could use um, to go straight to finding the derivative at a point using this alternate form of the derivative, okay? So, see you later guys, next video's coming up.